Hi, my name is Aim Iskandar. Tonight's video will be about R S A. I'm not talking about South Africa, okay? Republic of South Africa. No, it's related to F1. So yes, it's the Renault Sports Academy. Me, okay. Uh, yeah. The uh yeah they had signed this Danish driver since twenty seventeen in the uh, academy setup that I just googled uh yeah I just googled him just a few minutes ago yeah and yeah that's when I decided to make this video instantly without any scripts beside me or. Oh. In my hands so yeah he, he he was actually signed by the by rsa uh yeah into the into the rsa into the renault sports academy okay uh yeah uh he's he 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 is danish he's danish yeah his name is actually christian lungat so uh he will be the i think the third danish driver if i'm not mistaken to enter f1 after magnuson and after magnuson's father uh, yeah he will be the third danish driver to enter if he gets a chance yeah, he, he's now racing with uh, the French based team. I think it's also related to the, the RSA setup, the ART Grand Prix team. Uh, yeah, it's a French based team, so French based team with Renault. Yeah, so yeah, he's a Renault development driver, uh, Lungat, the Danish, Danish guy Lungat. His father was actually a European rally champion. Henrik Lungat. Yeah. Uh, he Christian Lungat actually graduated in winning the Spanish uh, for Formula Four title or something. Yeah, and he went up to the through the series SMP, the Renault Euro Cup for all the Renault development driver is like the 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 formula formula regionals in italy but that is for ferrari this is for renault so yeah, he's involved with all the renault based subsidiary series yes before he graduated into f2 and also he is before gp3 series was renamed formula 3 last uh, last year so he was he graduated through gp3 and formula 3 it's the same series but they just rebranded so yeah i don't need to talk about the rebranding because it will drag the video longer so yeah uh he is now he has now graduated in into the FIA Formula 2 World Championship from uh for the Formula Formula 3 team. Uh, Formula 3 FIA Formula 3 Championship. So yes, from the GP3 series was rebranded into Formula 3 in 2019. Now in 2020 he is making his full debut in formula 2 so maybe in the next couple four to five years we will see him on the f1 grid maybe magnuson would have retired maybe he would be uh lungard would be driving a renault yeah because he's a renault development driver yep sounds like someone from China. Uh, Juan Yuzao. So, 
Con như dầu nhà yeah. uh, so yeah uh, yeah hopefully I, I get to see him winning championships racing against the likes of Verstappen, Leclerc uh, the two McLaren drivers the Spanish and British driver Lando Norris and his teammate uh, who's that guy uh, science then Kifiat, then then uh, Elburn, Gasly, uh, the upcoming young drivers, maybe that Danny Dicker, Mick Schumacher, Armstrong. Oh yeah, he will be teammates with uh, Marcus Armstrong, the Ferrari development driver, in a for I think for Triton this year. Or he has joined MP Motorsports. Rumored to join MP Motorsports, but I'm not sure. But according to my research, he will be Armstrong's teammate in the Trident team, the Ferrari Ferrari Academy driver. Yeah, so he might be racing against the likes of Giovinazzi in F1, the likes of. Uh, Alessi's son, John Ale Jean Alessi's son, Giuliano Alessi, Swartzman, and other drivers from the Red Bull setup, from the Renault setup, from the Mercedes Benz setup. George Russell is one of them. Danny Dickham used to be from the uh, Red Bull setup, but now he's with, uh, he's with Williams. With, uh, yeah, he's with Williams. And Williams has signed Jack Akin also. So the likes of him racing against those guys in the next four to five, six years is a possible, is a real possibility. The only, the only driver that prior to. 2015 or 2016 that did not enter F2 to go to to straight uh, to enter F1 was Max Verstappen because he was from GP3 he was straight away promoted to Toro Rosso that was a 20 what year was that 2014 2015 he was in Toro Rosso in the mid, in the midst of the Chinese Grand Prix in 2016, he was promoted up to Red Bull, and he won his first race directly on the week that he was promoted into Red Bull in 2016. That was in May. I still remember that day, and he still holds the youngest driver to win a to be on a podium to win a race and to lead a race yes to lead a race so yeah back to Lungat well yeah. Uh, yeah he will be racing against the likes of Javan RC the two racing point drivers if uh, that will be called Aston Martin post 2021 uh, maybe Chaco will, will retire and they will be another driver and Hess will have a new lineup by then uh, Stroll will stay because his father has shares in the Aston not in the F1 team but generally in Aston Martin so he will stay with S the Aston Martin F1 team Stroll Alan Stroll his father is Lauren Stroll the Canadian billion Or millionaire, in millionaire, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Lor Lawrence Stroll, Lawrence. So yeah, so he he will be racing with the likes of those drivers in the future, and 
the future of F1 is bright. But for this next few years, we might only see the top three teams dominating races and winning races. Hopefully, in the next couple of years, McLaren or even a surprise Alfa Romeo team that maybe Kimi Raikkonen will manage the team or he will venture into rallying again and win a rally championship then manage the uh, Sauber Alfa Romeo team maybe I don't know maybe he, he would take a sabbatical role after 2021 I don't know because if 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 Mick Schumacher is successful and other Ferrari development drivers is successful uh, as I told you in my preview all my previous video about uh, the Ferrari drivers academy they are just producing a lot of talents like Red Bull in between 2009 to let's say 2016 they were just producing a horrible amount of that not horrible a lot of talents that they can cope with it that's that is what is happening with ferrari right now so yeah hopefully raikkonen is still there if he if he's racing but but maybe mick schumacher would race against lungard in the renault in the midfield battle with uh, Alfa Romeo right Alfa Romeo yes so yeah with Toro Rosso uh, with Alfa Torre, Toro Rosso Renault McLaren Hess and maybe Williams so he, he would be directly involved with, with a midfield battle if he enters F1 in a, in three or four years time Nungat as Renault is a midfield team right now with with the likes of the other teams I just mentioned barring from the top three teams so yeah so hopefully we get to see him race with Mick but they have to sacrifice Givinazzi if Raikkonen does not want to take a sabbatical role or retire from F1 they might need to race. Uh, they might need to let Sh Mick Schumacher uh, leave the seat vacant for Schumacher, for Schumacher, by sacrificing Giovinazzi. So yeah, we might not see him race against Giovinazzi. Lungat, uh, Christian Lungat might race against either. Swartzman, Armstrong, Lacey, uh, Column Elliot. Yeah, I forgot to mention his the, that British driver's name. Elliot, Armstrong. Yeah, El Elliot is uh, Elliot is uh, British. Armstrong is Australian or from New Zealand. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't know which country is up strong from. I have a strong feeling it's Australian. Because he looks like, like an Australian. So yeah. So there's a French guy, there's an Italian guy, there's a Russian guy, there's a British. There's an Italian guy. Yeah, there's Givinazzi. <laughs> yeah. So Lung Lungat might get a, a fair chance of being in Renault. But all those five drivers from the Ferrari development program that is going to race with Lungard in the future might have a huge issue yeah really huge issue so yeah because Ferrari has two seats and Alfa Romeo has two seats right. so maybe Mick Schumacher would straight away jump into the Ferrari if he's lucky but if he's not lucky he would be in yeah that would force all the other four Ferrari academy drivers to wait for their turn if Raikkonen doesn't 
tire or take a spatical roll so yeah uh yeah good luck to longgan in the future i want to see another danish driver in f1 and also being the first danish world champion yeah there is no danish world champion sadly there's a french italian german british finnish brazilian argentinian belgian australian and some other world champions from some other countries so yeah hopefully he will become the first ever danish world champion like verstappen and like monaco uh, like leclerc from monaco but monaco has not have has not ever have a driver winning a championship or even a, a dutch beast driver winning a championship in 70 years of f1 not at all so leclerc and verstappen would be the first monaco or even the a dutch driver winning the championship so yeah hopefully that will happen in the future with lungard upcoming with uh, all the young guns coming up through into f1 i want to see more world champions from other countries yeah not not the mainstream countries like french italy uh, britain germany no yeah spain spain they don't the only world champion they have is uh, alonso so yeah they only have one world champion like italy they have ascari argentine there's no argentinian world champion in a long time there's no australian world champion in a long time the last was alan just in the 1980s so yeah after that no one became world driver's champion yes so before my video cuts off, I should say goodbye and and I'm wishing good luck to Lungard in the future and for his uh, Formula 2 career.